<laughs> Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? Your boy Marcus Levy, the Anger Ranter here, for vlog 170 in the Anger Ranter vlog series. <laughs> so, this one's gonna just be quick because it's raining a little bit out here right now, <laughs> and my voice is a little hoarse from yesterday because when you add a protest, you gotta give it your all. Am I right? But <laughs> it feels like a more appropriate day. <laughs> <laughs> for me to mention that, as I said yesterday, <laughs> the 27th of September 2019 is going to be the day that we all remember where we were. <laughs> you know, the 2000s had Y2K and 9-11. <laughs> that kind of set the tone for the anti-terrorism brigade of the 2000s. <laughs> Then the economic downturn of the recession, 2008-2009, uh, set the tone for the, the 2010s. <laughs> and now climate change, combating climate change, will be the trendsetter, <laughs> the mission that the world will be on in the 2020s. <laughs> See, for me... For a long time, I've been trying to find out what it is that's going to be our main goal in the 2020s. And I think it's making sure that we still have a planet that's not trying to kill us because we're acting like a disease. <laughs> Come 2030, if not further than that. And of course, I know it's a huge, you know, stretch <laughs> to say that what we do in the 2020s is going to still be good for us in the 2030s and the 2040s but you'll never know if you don't try it's the best way to put it you'll never know if you don't try <laughs> but right now i'm off to the train I'm going to uh pop on the train to tunnies take the bus home I'm gonna I'm gonna try this as my new method of traveling um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna be hitting the gym after work but tonight the goal is I'm gonna go home sleep get up between 4 30 and 5 30 p.m. upload this so that I stay up on this stuff and then I'm just going to study Latin until I have to leave because I need to put in some time there because the grades have been slipping a little <laughs> See, cap at one, I nailed. Cap at two, I got. Cap at three, I want to understand. And especially since <laughs> the weird way that our semester's arranged where it's kind of like, okay, so on the, on the Wednesday, we start a new chapter, okay? And you get told that there's a test on that chapter on the Monday. But on the Monday, we start another chapter. So it's kind of, sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, no, every Mon, every, yeah, no, every Wednesday we start a new chapter. An, assi an assignment for the previous chapter is due on that Wednesday, and a test for that current chapter is on the Monday for the previous chapter. It's, it's a very weird situation. And since certain things are not congruent, like for example, <laughs> let's take, <laughs> Let's take last week's test, right? <laughs> it was on chapter two, which uh, which is a test on uh, first declension nouns in Latin, which are feminine and have feminine endings. Gender has nothing to do with biological gender. It's just grammatical gender. <laughs> also, the language is over 2,000 years old, so of course it has that kind of differentiation. <laughs> Uh, but then Caput 3, which she w she went and taught us about before we took the test on the previous chapter, <laughs> you know, she ended up planting, in essence, <laughs> um, uh, the um, second declension nouns, which are masculine and neuter, which means neutral. <laughs> uh, neuter is a huge part of Caput 4. <laughs> and so essentially our first test coming up on the 7th of October, so not this coming week, but the next week, <laughs> uh, is going to be on everything from first, second conjugation verbs all the way up to first, second, con uh, second declension nouns. So 
I understand that base premise. <laughs> it's just about <laughs> trying to remember all the freaking endings. So I need to put in some actual practice time. <laughs> Otherwise the grades are going to continue to suffer. And I do not wish for that to happen. Uh, I received my first thing back that was less than an 80%. So I need to do my best to try to keep that uh, above board. I know the assignments and stuff are only worth like 1.5%. <laughs> but a 78 when it's worth 1.5% only gives me like 1.1% or 1%. Well, uh, no, 1% would be a 60 something. So no, it would give me like 1.2% which is not good enough. <laughs> Want to do better when I only have one class. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Check out the social media down below. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and help grow our stuck at 22 subscriber Angry Rant base. Share this around to get other people to come watch the Angry Rant of vlogs. All right, guys. Peace out till tomorrow. 171.